rescuing monkeys in raids across Jakarta. This impish animal in a pink suit was destined for a lifetime of performing on city sidewalks. But Indonesian officials are clamping down on these sorts of street performances and arresting their owners. The government has decided that by 2014 all street monkey performances will be eradicated. The government will provide training so that those in the trade will be able to work in other fields. Stray monkeys in Jakarta have traditionally been used in roadside performances by their owners to entertain the crowds. Often they have to wear masks on their faces and are dressed in restrictive and uncomfortable clothing. They also wear chains around their necks. Activists say many are badly treated and abused. We received a lot of reports from the public about torture and cruelty committed against these monkeys. After we looked into the issue, we found that it's true that these monkeys are subjected to torture. But monkey handlers say that's not true and insist the animals are loved and well looked after. We have never tortured monkeys. Even if we do cut their fangs, it's all we do in order not to endanger others. No, we don't torture them. The plan is to get all of these little apes off the streets and into rescue homes by 2014. Officials say some 20% of the monkeys in Jakarta are carrying diseases and want to protect the city's residents. It's an ambitious plan, but one that the local government hopes will be replicated across the country. Karishma Vaswani, BBC News, Jakarta.